nothing flying. Ew! <laughs> it does. That made you laugh so hard in the cinema, didn't it? Yeah. So what have you got there, Mills? My BFG book. So this has been your summer read, hasn't it? They've done this really cool thing um, at our local library, and perhaps it's at libraries all over the UK, I don't really know, since we just go to our own. Um, but they've done uh, the big friendly read all summer, and it's encouraged kids to just get to the library or at home and read as much as possible. And so Amelia selected for her summer reading, what did you choose? The BFG. The BFG. And we're going to the cinemas to see it now. We are, we are. So this is a read before you see, huh? So we've read the book and we've loved this one. In fact, you said it was your? Favorite. Your favorite, really? Yeah. And um, now we're gonna bring it all to life by seeing it in the cinema. It's meant to be really good, isn't it? Tell me a little bit about uh, what your favorite parts in the book. My favorite parts are when all the funny things how the BFG says. So you thought it was really funny the way the BFG spoke throughout the book, yeah. huh? It made it kind of difficult to read, didn't it? Yeah. So I, Even for me, because we'll I switch. I corrected mommy and mommy corrected me. I, I know. Corrected mommy though. <laughs> we would, we would switch off chapters, wouldn't we, reading? Yeah. And um, we were constantly like, wait, what is he saying? This is so crazy. He'd just make up words. What was like a funny word that he would say? What was his thing that he ate? Snorscumbers instead Snor of Snows cumbers instead of cucumbers. I know, and they looked horrible. I bet yeah. it'll be funny to see them in the movie, huh? Yeah, I think they're gonna look like aubergines, but green. They look. I think they're gonna look like green aubergines. Oh, really? Were there any other parts of the book that were really memorable to you that you're looking forward to seeing how they do it in the movie? Because there's this table that the BF... So they go to the Queen's bedroom and then they have breakfast and then the, the where do they have to have the breakfast though because he's so tall in the ballroom in the ballroom yeah and then the, the table has to have four 30 inch high 30 meters high um grandfather clocks and then and then a giant ping pong table that the old prince had. That's right. And then at the end he eats donuts and a sponge cake. <laughs> oh, it sounds yummy, huh? Oh, I want one of the donuts.
how to make dream jars. What you need for this is some glass jars, some white tissue paper, some glow sticks, a sheet of A4 paper, some glow paint, and my secret ingredient, some magic glitter. For the first step, you open the jar and pour a little bit of glitter in. Put the lid on and then shake, 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 shake. When you cut the tissue paper, make sure it's just under the, the, uh, the lid of the jar. You take some tissue paper and put some around the edge and then fill it up with some more. Then get your glow stick and then you put it inside the jar and put the lid on top. Next, you rip off a bit of paper to get your label. Then you glue the back of the label and stick it on the front of the jar. After the labels have dried, you can write anything you want on them. Okay, Amelia, mm -hmm. so now we saw the movie and we've read the book. What is your vote? What was better, book or movie? Movie. Really? What did you really like about the movie? It, it was like really funny when, when they were like drinking the... What's it called? Frog Scuttle. Yeah, <laughs> Frog Scuttle. Okay, and what? effect does the frob scuttle have on you? Farting flying. Ew! <laughs> it does. That made you laugh so hard in the cinema, didn't it? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> have you got a favorite part in the book you want to read me? Yes. It's so funny because, you know, I think you've heard of the Jack and the Beanstalk story, haven't you? Most people have, yeah. Um, this is now a bit weird because then the only human being that the other giants were scared of is the Jack. <laughs> okay, Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk? Yeah. Let's read a bit to me. Save us, screamed the Splash Lump Peter. He's after me! He's getting me! Jack is the only human being all giants are frightened of. The BFG told her they is all absolutely terrified of Jack. They is all, all hearing, hearing that Jack, Jack is, is a famous, famous giant, giant killer. Soon it will be getting dusky and they will be galloping off to fill their tummies. Happy 100th birthday, Roald Dahl. We are going to have a bit of cake in your honor before bedtime. Um, Melia's had a fantastic summer reading the BFG and we had a really fun day out as a family seeing the movie in the cinema. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. And the kids are gonna sleep with their dream jars tonight in their room, which are gonna be really magical. Maybe not this one. <laughs>
But we hope this inspires you to get hold of his books and get reading them with your kids. But in the meantime, we're celebrating 100 years of Roald Dahl along with the rest of the UK. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. Hi. Happy 100th birthday! Hi.